Yes, we are here. We are on the road, out of the studio, and in the big state of Texas, home of this guy right here, Randy, Randy Rogers Band. How are you today? Good to see you. I'm actually at my house. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not at the rodeo, but I'm at my house. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people that are there. There's a lot of people that normally are there that aren't there. So, uh, 2020. <laughs> yeah, I think this will be one of the first years out of the last... Uh, 20 years of doing this professionally that we didn't hit the NFR. So, wow. Uh, wow. It's always, it's always 2021, baby. Come on. There is. Let's go. Exactly. Well, you're doing some stuff. You've still been able to do a lot of stuff, even with the pandemic going on. I know down here in Texas, it's been a little bit different than we've had up in the North Country. <laughs> exactly. We've had a few, few venues stay open, outdoor mm -hmm. venues. We were able to play like two shows in one night, and then we'd do a Friday and a Saturday. So four shows in, you know, two days. Wow. Um, and, and thank God we got to do that. Yeah. At the same time, holy, holy crap. That is a lot of singing. I that bet. Is a, that is a lot of being on stage. And uh, I'm so thankful that those, the people that did come out to those shows, and I hope they felt like, you know, they got their money's worth. It was a lot of work for our crew guys, you know, typically only doing one night, one show, one night. Yeah. I'm having to kind of set up, tear down, set up, tear down. Set up, tear down, set up, tear down. <laughs> like it's a kind of a lot. Um, yeah. So, you know, very happy we got to do that. Very happy to be from Texas, obviously. And we opened up pr pretty quick and we're able to play some shows this year. So, yeah. Well, and not only just shows, but you went all out with Wade Bowen and you guys put out an album this year. Yeah. Hold My Beer Volume Two, uh, right there on the bottom of your screen. <laughs> uh, you can check it out. I love the record. It's country. It's, uh, more country than anything Wade and I put out, you know, independently. I think um, the songs are all funny. It's the hold my beer and watch this. Uh, the whole thing with Wade and I is supposed to be kind of, you know, back and forth, kind of making fun of each other a little bit. A little Mo and Joe. It's yeah. funny. I, I played golf the other day at George Strait's uh, golf tournament. The Volcaros Del Mar and my partner was Mo Bandy. Oh, and uh, we, we got to have a, a good talk about the rodeo clown. Uh, he, of course, had Bandy the rodeo clown. Yeah, and wait, wait, and I single off this record. It's called Rodeo Clown, and the song is about a guy who gets left. Uh, his girlfriend leaves him for a rodeo clown, and we received some death threats over this. You know, it was serious. It was, oh so, and God. we know, we know the rodeo. We know rodeo. The rodeo clowns are the heroes. Yeah, I and mean, they really are. They're, they're keep the integral part of this whole entire entire thing is a rodeo clown. It wasn't meant to be mean. It's meant to be funny. Right. Where's your sense of humor, rodeo clowns? <laughs> Right. I'm surprised with that with rodeo clones. I did actually hear one of these. I'm I'm totally gonna name drop him. Uh Johnny Dudley. I heard this from him way before. And I it's just such a great song. I especially during 2020, why not have a sense of humor with some of the stuff going on? Yeah, and some of the other songs too on the on the record just make you giggle, you know. And I think we need a lot more of that, especially now coming down to the end of the year and hopefully going into the seeing the light. At the end of the tunnel, you know. Right. Well, and speaking yeah. of, you guys are going to be doing a big show here at Billy Bob's at the end of the year. And I know you're not doing really much for, for NFR so much, but at the end of the year, you're going to kind of kick that right off and downtown yeah, Fort so Worth. January 1st and 2nd, Billy Bob's Texas, Randy Rogers Band. Uh, you know, I think maybe that's probably why I'm not doing something at NFR because of yeah. the fallen and the uh, radius clause. <laughs> Uh, the old mu the old music business still is yeah. alive and well during COVID. True, true. <laughs> still the still the same rules you got to play by. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I'm actually planning on going to Billy Bob's tomorrow night. Is there anything that, since of course being a Northerner and my first time at Billy Bob's, is there anything that I should definitely check out while I'm there, or, or even have for a drink? Well, uh, the H3 Steakhouse, you know, is right around the corner from there. Mm -hmm. um, you know the. Uh, there's a brand new, um, and I think it's the official NFR um, hotel, okay. Spring Hill Suites. 
Okay. Uh, they just put a brand new rooftop bar. This is Ooh. not old school, you know, <laughs> stockyards right. by any means. <laughs> um, but they just put this brand new rooftop bar on top of there uh, that awesome. is definitely worth checking out. And of course, Joe T's, uh, Joe sure. T Garcia's Mexican food. I don't know what the weather's like there right now, but if it's warm, <laughs> sit outside. <laughs> okay, that sounds yeah. good. Hey, anything's warmer than what I left up in the North Country. It was 32 degrees when I left, so. Oh yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. in shorts. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, and exactly. also the White Elephant, of course. It's oh, yes. the White Elephant. Yeah. Yes, I've heard and some then, good things. Favorite restaurant down there is uh, Love and War. So. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, see, this is my first time. Well, not to Texas because I've driven through numerous times and been on the top half of Texas, but um, getting down into Texas, which this has just been so much fun and so cool that the NFR still can be happening here, um, even though Las Vegas is usually the home of it. And so uh, what is it, it being from Texas? What's it like having the NFR back there since like 1960, I think, was the last time that it was there. Well, it was probably a little bit easier on the liver, you know? <laughs> I mean, right? all, all the years is in Vegas. Like, I, don't, I have pictures of me from that time period. Like, some of those shows, I'm like, God, how to make it out alive. We played right? the, the MGM, like, at 11 p.m. every night, right when the rodeo let out. I mean, yep. like, four nights in a row or something crazy like that. And looking back, you know, those late nights till 6 a.m. or whatever at this casino, Mm -hmm. I think I think having it back in Texas still be a party. Oh, yeah. Obviously, during COVID, it's not going to be the party that it should be. Uh, but your liver will thank you later that it's back in Texas. I'm sure. <laughs> yes, no doubt. Yeah. They always say, you know, NFR out there in Vegas is usually a marathon, not a sprint. But I remember being at many of your shows till all hours of the night. Yeah. It's, it's the oxygen they pump in those casinos. I swear. <laughs> You're just alive. You yep. feel alive. Exactly. But, I mean, the great state of Texas, we have so many rodeos. Yeah. Uh, we have so many cowboys and cowgirls uh, that grow up in the lifestyle of the rodeo. Um, so many of them have been uh, great fans of ours through the years. Um, I can't claim to be a cowboy at all, um, but I sure do have respect for the people that do it for a living and that love it. And it's in the part of their life and their day-to-day -day life. And the difference between being a, a real cowboy, you know, and, and somebody that actually just pretends to be a cowboy and rides. Um, <laughs> it's a huge difference and I have the utmost respect uh, for everybody competing and also all the rodeo clowns. <laughs> right, <laughs> gotta yeah. got throw that in disclaimer yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah. So is there anything over like looking forward into 2021, what are you guys kind of looking at doing with the Randy Rogers Band? Well, we've got a song in the can that's a duet uh, with a, a, a band from Chihuahua, Mexico. Okay. Um, via Texas, uh, Macanaria de Nortania oh. is their name, the Machines of the North, La Macanaria. And we did a song with them that's coming out, it's half English, half Spanish. Um, it's so cool. It's a, a collaboration that I've never done before. Um, and so super excited about that. That's gonna come out hopefully first quarter. Um, getting back on the road, touring, getting up in the Midwest, um, getting out on the East Coast and West Coast and seeing all of our friends. Sure. Uh, touring all over the country. We are kind of like being on the rodeo. It's like a different town every night. The the lifestyle that we've lived for 20 years kind of just dissipated in front of our eyes this year. Right. Um, and there have been some wonderful things that come about of it. There mm -hmm. is a silver lining to all things. Uh, by no way am I complaining about everything here, but sure. we do miss the road. We miss our lifestyle. Uh, we miss being on stage and hopefully that's going to usher in a uh, new year with the new year. Yeah. yeah. So now, is there anything that you just did not expect that something that you have enjoyed during this pandemic? I know everybody's kind of like what you said, that silver lining. Everybody's kind of had a little silver lining that's come through. Yeah, I've got little girls. So um, and what the youngest is she turned three oh, wow. during the pandemic. So anybody that has kids knows from like one and a half or two to three and a half is a big jump, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Voc vocabulary, I mean, everything, personality. And so I, I was able to have that time with her, you know, and, and the other girls I didn't. And so uh, that's been the biggest takeaway from this is just how much I'm needed as dad and as a daddy and just physically being here and emotionally being here. And that connection with her wasn't there before the pandemic. Sure. And now it is. That's cool. Right. And so that's, very cool. that's enough alone, you know, <laughs> to make the pandemic worth it. 
sure. you know, she and I are like this now. And before it was, you know, it was different. Right. Yeah, definitely. That's yeah. awesome. Well, and speaking of, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to hop on here with us and talk a little bit about the NFR and what you guys have going and, and all the other stuff that's going on for you here. Yeah, we played the we played the hooey party a few years. Give a shout oh. out to them. Yeah, it's always such a blast. Um, and just like I said, played played just random shows yeah. four nights in a row. Um, one <laughs> one time I showed up and um, it was really before Blake's like superstardom. And I've got this really great picture of me and Blake shooting the finger <laughs> at the camera. We're wearing the same freaking shirt. Oh my gosh! Same, same night. <laughs> so oh, you know. Man. I've had some really good times there yeah. um, at the N F R. I hate to be missing it this year, but like yeah. I said, always next year. Always next year. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty darn big next year besides. <laughs> but if you stick around January first and second, Billy Bob's. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you again for being part of my on the road here down in Texas. But we miss everybody. We miss seeing everybody on the road and have a few cold ones for me, would you? <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's what we do. That's what we love. Love it. That was another on the road exclusive with Brits. That's perfect. We'll take it. Social butterfly. I can't believe this thing went viral. On 93.9, the country moves.